sixth grade module two lesson 13 problem set so lesson 13 problem set is just 20 different division problems so i'm going to work through them one at a time feel free to skip through and just watch the one problem that maybe you're struggling with or a couple okay so number one 1634 divided by 19. So 19 can't go into 1, it can't go into 16. So we need to see how many times 19 can go into 163. So I know 19 times 10 would be 190. So maybe around like 7 or 8 times. Let's try 8. 9 times 8 is 72. Carry the 7. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 7 is 15. 152. And if I added another 19, it would be more than 163. So it can go in 8 times. Let's subtract. We get 11. Bring down the 4. So 19 can go into 152 8 times. So um, my estimate is probably going to be 6 times. 9 times 6 is 54. Carry the 5. five times. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 5 is 11. Yep, it can go in 6 times no remainder so it is equal to 86 okay let's do number two 2450 divided by 25 25 can't go into 2 it can't go into 24 so it could go into 245 well 25 times 10 is 250 so I bet it can go in nine times nine times 5 is 45 Carry the 4, 9 times 2 is 18, plus 4 is 22. Yeah, so it goes in 9 times, and that's 225. If we subtract, we get 20, bring down the 0. 25 can go into 200. Well, 25 can go into 100 4 times, so it can go into 200 8 times. And 8 times 25 is 200. No remainder, so our quotient is 98. Let's clear some space here. Number three, 22,274 divided by 37. 37 can't go into two or 22, but it could go into 222. Let's try like six or seven times. Six times seven is 42, carry the four. Six times three is 18, plus four is 22. Oh, perfect. So it goes in six times. Let's subtract 222. We get zero, I'm gonna bring down the seven. So 37 can't go into seven. So I'm gonna put a zero up here. We can do zero times 37 is zero. Subtract, we get 7. Now we can bring down the 4. Can you see how many times 37 can go into 74? Let's try 2. 2 times 7 is 14. Carry the 1. 1 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So it goes in twice with no remainder. So this is 602. And number 4, 21,361 divided by 41. So 41 can't go into 2 or 21. We could probably go into 213. Well, 41 times 10 is 410. So 213 is about half that. So I'm going to try 5 times. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 4 is 20. Yeah, so it can go in 5 times. And 5 times 41 was 205. Need to borrow, 13 minus 5 is 8. And these are both zeros, so bring down the 6, but I put an 8. Okay, so 86. How many times can 41 go into 86? Well, 41 times 2 is 82, so it can go in twice. 2 times 41 is 82. If we subtract, we get a 4, bring down the 1. And 41 can go into 41. One time, that's 41, no remainder, so we get 
521. Number 5. 34,874 divided by 53. So 53 can't go into 3 or 34, but how many times could it go into 348? See, 50, 53 is really close to 50. So 50 times uh, 5 would be 250. 50 times 6 would be 300. Let's try 6. 6 times 3 is 18. Carry the 1. 6 times 5 is 30 plus 1 is... 30, 318. So if I added another 53, it'd be above 348. So it can go in six times. We get 31 when we subtract, and I'll bring down the 7. So how many times could 53 go into 307? Well, I already know 53 times 6 was 318, so let's do 50, that's too big. So let's do 53 times 5. 5 times 3 is 15. Carry the 1. 5 times 5 is 25, plus 1 is 20. Six, so 265, we subtract 42, bring down the 4. So how many times can 53 go into 424? Well, I know five, 53 times 6 was 318, so let's try, times 7 would probably be a little too small, let's see if it can fit in 8 times. 8 times 3 is 24, carry the 2, 5 times 8 is 40, plus 2 is 42, yep, 424, it can go in 8 times. So our answer is 658. Number 6, 50,902 divided by 62. So 62 can't go into 5 or 50, but it could go into 509. Let's see, 62 times 10 is 620. So my, I'm guessing it could go in 8 or 9 times. Let's see if it could go in. Uh, 9 is probably too big, so let's try 8. 2 times 8 is 16. Carry the 1. 6 times 8 is 48, plus 1 is 49. Yeah, another one would have been too big. So let's subtract. We get 13, bring down the zero. How many times could 62 go into 130? Probably twice. Yep. Subtract 124. We get six and bring down the two and 62 can go into 62 one time with no remainder. So our quotient is 821. Okay, number seven. Seventy thousand four hundred thirty four divided by seventy eight. So seventy eight can't go into seven or seventy, but could go into seven hundred four. Let's try nine times. Nine times eight is 72. Nine times seven is 63, plus seven would be 770. So we get 702, so it can go in nine times. If we subtract, bring down the three. So 78 can go into 23, zero times. Zero times 78 is zero. Subtract, we still have 23, but now we can bring down the 4. So 78 can go into 234. I'm guessing probably 3 times. 8 times 3 is 24. Carry the 2. 3 times 7 is 21. Plus 2 is 23. Yep. Goes in 3 times. If we subtract, we don't have a remainder. So our answer is 903. Number eight, 91,047 divided by 89. So 89 can't go into nine or 
it could go into 91 one time. If we subtract, we get 2, bring down the 0. So 89 can't go into 20. So I need to put a 0 up here. That's 0. Subtract, we still have 20, and bring down the 4. So 89 can go into 204, probably twice, because 89 is really close to 100. Yep, that's 178. If I had another 89, it'd be too bigger, much bigger than 204. So it goes in twice. You have to borrow 14 minus 8 is 6. 9 minus 7 is 2. Bring down the 7. And I bet if I added another 89 to this, it'd be 267. So 8 plus 9 is 17. Carry the 1. That'd be 16. 267. So it goes in 3 times, and that is 267. So we get 1,023. Number 9. 115,785 divided by 93. So 93 can't go into 1 or 11. It could go into 115 one time. Get 22, bring down the 7. So how many times could 93 go into 227? Probably twice. 186, yep, another one would be too big, so... Get 41, bring down the 8. So how many times can 93 go into 418? Probably 4 or 5. So let's try 93 times 4. And 4 times 9 is 36, plus 1 is 37. And another 93 would be more than 418. So it can go in 4 times. Eleven minus seven is four. Bring down the five, and let's see what ninety-three times five is. Five times nine is forty-five. Plus one is forty-six. So yep, it goes in five times. That's four hundred sixty-five. No remainder, so we get one thousand two hundred forty-five. Number ten. 207,968 divided by 97. Okay, 97 can't go into 2 or 20. It could go into 207 probably twice. Yeah, 2 times, which we need to subtract, 194. 7 times 4, 7 minus 4 is 3. Gotta borrow, get 13, bring down the 9. So 97 could go into 139 just once. Subtract 97, 13 minus 9 is 4. So we have 42, bring down the 6. So now how many times can 97 go into 426? 97 is really close to 100. 100 could go into 426 four times. So let's try 97 times 4. So 4 times 7 is 28. Carry the 2. 4 times 9 is 36. Plus 2 is 38. So yeah, another one would be too big. We need to borrow. 16 minus 8 is 8. We need to borrow again. 11 minus 8 is 3, and 3 minus 3 is 0. So let's bring down the 8, and it, we get 388. We've already done that right here. 97 times 4 is 388, so it goes in 4 times with no remainder, and our answer is 2,144.
Number 11, 7,735 divided by 119. So can't go into 119, can't go into 7, can't go into 77. So let's see how many times it could go into 7,000 or 773. Let's see, 119 is kind of close to 100. So 100 could go into 773 seven times. So I'm guessing either six or seven times. Let's start with let's start with six. Nine times six is 54, carry the five, but six times one is six plus five is 11. Carry the one, six times one is six plus one is seven. 714, so another 119 would be too big. So it goes in six times. You gotta borrow 13 minus four is nine, six minus one is five. Bring down the five. So how many times could 119 go into 595? Um, let's try five. Five times nine is 45. Carry the four. Five times one is five plus four is nine, and five times one is five. So yes, it goes in exactly five times with no remainder. So our quotient is 65. And number 12. 21,948 divided by 354. Okay, so 354 can't go into two, can't go into 21, can't go into 219. So we need to see how many times it can go into 2,194. I'm just gonna guess maybe seven times. Let's try 354 times seven. So seven times four is 28 carry the two. Seven times five is 35, plus two is 37. And seven times three is 21, plus three is 24. Okay, so that's too big. 2,478 is bigger than 2,194. So I'm gonna subtract 354, which will give me four times, or six times. 2,124, so that does work. It goes in six times, which is 2,124, and let's subtract. Those are gonna be zero, so we have 70 with an eight. So how many times can 354 go into 708? Maybe two. Let's try it. Four times two is eight, two times five is 10, carry the one, two times three is six, plus one is yep, 708. So it goes in twice with no remainder. So our quotient is 62. Number 13. 72,372 divided by 111. Okay, so 111 can't go into seven or 72. Let's see how many times it could go into 723. So 111, and around that to 100, 100 could go into 723 seven times, but with that extra 11 on it, it's probably not gonna go. So let's try six, which would be 666. So this is actually quite a nice one because it's gonna be easy to multiply 111 by anything. So if we subtract 13 minus six is seven, need to borrow again. 11 minus 6 is 5. Bring down the 7. So we know 111 times 6 is 666, which would be too big. We can multiply times 5 would be 555, so it can go in 5 times. Subtract, get 22, bring down the 2, and 111 can go into 222 twice. So we get 652. Number 14, 74,152 divided by 124. So it can't go into seven or 74, 124 could go into 741. Let's try five or six times. Five times four is 20, carry the two. 
5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12, carry the 1, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6. So if I added another 124, let's see if it gets to 741. 744, so it's just a little too big. And bring down the 5. So now it's how many times can 124 go into 1,215? I'm going to guess 9. 4 times 9 is 36. Carry the 3. 9 times 2 is 18. Plus 3 is 21. 9 times 1 is 9. Plus 2 is 11. So we get 1,116. If we subtract, 15 minus 6 is 9. We need to borrow. 10 minus 1 is 9. Those would both be zeros. Bring down the 2. So how many times can 124 go into 992? Let's see, times 9 was 1,116. So let's do times 8. 4 times 8 is 32. Carry the 3. 8 times 2 is 16. Plus 3 is 19. Carry the 1. 1 times 8 is 8. Plus 1 is 9. Yep, 8 times. Minus 992, we have 598. Let's erase. Okay, 182,727 divided by 257. Okay, 257 can't go into 1 or 8, 18, or 182. So how many times can it go into 1,827? Let's see. Well, times 10 would be 2,570, so maybe like 6 or 7 times? Let's try 7 and see if it's too big. 7 times 7 is 49. Carry the 4. 7 times 5 is 35 plus 4 is 39. 7 times 2 is 14, plus 3 is 15. Oh wait, 7 times 2 is 14, plus 3 is 17. So, yeah, you can go in 7 times. Minus 1,799. 17 minus 9 is 8. I'm going to have to borrow. 11 minus 9 is 2, so 28, bring down the 2. And 257 can only go into 282 one time. 12 minus 7 is 5. 7 minus 5 is 2. 2 minus 2 would be 0. And then how many times can 257 go into 257? Just once. No remainder, and we get 711. Number 16, 396,256 divided by 488. So 488 can't go into 3 or 39 or 396. So how many times could it go into 3,962? My guess is around 8 times, maybe 7 or 8 times. Let's try 8. 8 times 8 is 64. Carry the 6. 8 times 8 is 64. Plus 6 would be 70. 8 times 4 is 32. Plus 7 is 39. 3,904. Yeah, it works. Twelve minus 4 is 8. 58 left over, bring down a 5, and 488 could go into 585 once. If we subtract, 15 minus 8 is 7, 7 minus 8, we got to borrow. 17 minus 8 is 
sorry, 15 8 minus 8 was 7. 17 minus 8 is 9. So we have 97 left over. Bring down the 6. So how many times could 488 go into 976? Probably twice. 8 times 2 is 16, carry the 1. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 1 is 17, carry the 1. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So, goes in twice. No remainder, and we get 812. Number 17, 730,730 divided by 715. So 715 can't go into 7 or 73, it could go into 730 one time. If we subtract, we get 15, bring down the 7. So 715 can't go into 157. But now we can bring down the 3. So 715 can go into 1,573, probably twice. One thousand four hundred thirty. We have one hundred forty-three left over. Bring down a zero. So how many times can seven hundred fifteen go into one thousand four hundred thirty? Well, we already did that twice. With no remainder, so our quotient is one thousand twenty-two. 18, 1,434,342 divided by 923. So 923 can't go into 1 or 14 or 143. It could go into 1,434 just once. If we subtract, we get 511, bring down the 3. So how many times could 923 go into 5,113? Probably f 5 or 6 times, maybe. Let's try 6. Six times 9 is 54. Okay, so that's too big. Let's try... 923 times 5. 5 times 3 is 15, carry the 1. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11, carry the 1. 5 times 9 is 45, plus 1 is 46. So it goes in 5 times and subtract 4,615. Gotta borrow, 13 minus 5 is 8. Gonna borrow again. 10 minus 1 is 9. Keep borrowing. 10 minus 6 is 4. So we have 498. Bring down the 4. So how many times can 923 go into 4,984? Well, we, we already did that. It can, the closest we can get is 5 because 6 gets us something too big. So it goes in 5 times. That's 4,615. 4, Let's subtract. 14 minus 5 is 9. 7 minus 1 is 6. 9 minus 6 is 3. Bring down the 2. So how many times can 923 go into 3,692? Let's try... Let's see, 5 is too big. Let's try 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Carry the 1. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 1 is 9. 4 times 9 is 36, 3,692. So we get 1,554.
Number 19. 1,775,296 1, divided by 32. Okay, 32 can't go into 1 or 17, but it could go into 177. Let's see, 30 times 5 would be 150. 30 times 6 would be 180. So it can probably go in 5 times. Yeah, that's 160. Bring down the 5. So 30 times can 32 go into 175? Well, that's going to be 5 again because more than 160 plus 32 would be bigger than 175. Bring down the 2. So how many times can 32 go into 152? Well, that's probably going to be 4 times. 32 times 4. Because 5 is too big. So it goes in 4 times, and that is 128. 12 minus 8 is 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. Bring down the 9. How many times can 32 go into 249? Let's try 7. It's 224. If I add another 32, I get 256, which is too big. So it goes in 7 times, which was 224. We get 25, bring down the 6, 256. Well, we know this was 8 times, so it can go in 8 times, and that is 256. So we get 55,478. Make some room for the last one. 1,144,932 divided by 12. Okay, well the good news is we know our 12s, so. Okay, 12 can't go into 1 or 11, but it could go into 114. Let's see, 12 times 8 is 96. 12 times 9 is, let's check, is 108. So it can go in 9 times. 114 minus 108 would be 6. Bring down the 4. So 12 can go into 64. We know 12 times 5 is 60. So it couldn't go in more times than that. 4 left over. Bring down the 9. 12 goes into 49, well, 12 times 4 is 48. Bring down the 3, 12 goes into 13, one time. One left, bring down the 2, and 12 goes into 12, one time. So we end up with 95,411.